You can tell a lot about an artist by how they quickly draw something because you get to see the fundamentals of their shapes. So this is a reference that he did for two characters that are female. And we can kind of see the basic shapes when he's literally rushing with seconds to draw this. It's interesting because from that we can get the other characters. So from up here, and we're gonna break down the shapes and see the similarities between this and a more finished product. So I have three characters here, each with kind of varying body shapes. So the shapes that we're gonna be looking at are these right here, so in the red. So this is literally the shape that he draws female bodies with. I've seen one post liken it to a dog bone you know, like a cartoon dog bone and that's actually not far off from what it actually is so he has like a top part here for the chest which is kind of like a I mean it could be like a one two three four five six six sided shape but that's not a hard and fast rule it's more of just like a boxy kind of wide at the sides here and then thinner here to kind of mimic like shoulders um, mimic shoulders and almost mimic a head because Sonic characters don't have heads though we do break that rule sometimes so that's not a hard and fast rule either but just remember you need to make these these outsides a little a little larger to mimic that shoulder shape or like uh, the lats of a person the latissimus dorsi of a person these parts here if you don't know what that muscle is it's uh look it up little baby anyways so here we have then the thin part and this is kind of like this is the shape that articulates so you know their torso can rotate this way um, and like their lower half can rotate this way and this is kind of like a fixed point that allows you to articulate and and maneuver the characters and in just a little bit we'll show examples of that so this is kind of like, uh, I like this sh this inclusion here because it can add a lot of um, maneuverability for the characters, make them look real action-y when you need them to. Okay, and then obviously we have the, um, the lower half, which is kind of like, it mimics the hips, though it's kind of a, a wacky shape. So it, go it starts from thin and essentially just flares out wide like that and that mimics the hips and well actually if I get rid of these guidelines you can see here that he's used a sharp sharp edge there to mimic where the hips start to go down into the into the thigh to the leg of the character here which so yeah it just it's a cartoony representation of the female body and it's simplified by like a sharp edge here so you can you can know what is hip and what is leg just from those sharp edges so yeah, remember from the waist comes those those hips that that flare out and then this is from another angle but it's the exact same shape so notice even though this character is facing this way, this character is facing forwards, he's essentially still used the exact same shape. You know, these like sharp, the sharp lines. So, let's look at it on polished new characters. Okay, so we have once again this this piece here. Okay, we kind of have so these the widening parts, right, to kind of mimic the, the lats. Okay, in this image here, because the character's facing this way, like the torso is angled up like that, um, that, this part here, kind of mimics the lats, this little part here. But it's more of a, a flat line. And so that's the thing, is you can do it like that. Um, <laughs> these are kind of just guidelines to go off of. You know, you don't need to... Um, let me 
explain this better. You don't need to make, in this instance, Sally's body like this. Okay, because she doesn't have to have a lat thrown out there. Okay, that doesn't make as much sense. But it's it's like a basic principle, you know, that's the general shape you would use. So flare it out like that. Okay, then you have the, the waistline here. And then we have this shape. Now, the way the character's angled, um, he's used just a, a straight line like that. And you notice something, I guess, <laughs> these characters look a little, a little thicker to use. <laughs> Some urbanic youth modern vernacular. And this character looks more functionally like a, like a cartoon Sonic character. So you can kind of play around with that a little bit. So here it's just kind of like, it goes from that, the, the little um, torso of the stomach part, uh, it goes to then just straight down instead of being like that shape. Right? Now you could still use that shape, but it kind of changes Sally's whole character, so use that at your discretion. Okay, next up we have Tangle. And Tangle is more of just like a thinner, bendier, almost like a, how the male characters, um, when you draw them, they, you know, when we've gone over with the, the male anatomy, you know, that's kind of the basic shape for the body, and then they just have these, you know, these like straight lines. And Tangle is more so that, except we do see that um, from there we have like a slight flare out here and here. And so that, just that small bending shape, um, just that small bend here, uh, just, like makes it obvious that um, Tangle has female uh, legs when, when Yardley draws them. Cool, and then another one is Blaze. And Blaze, um, I would say her character's body type is more, like, usually drawn s more similar, more s similarly um, to the male characters. But again, a, a big difference being the upper piece instead of being like that. Um, it has that um, latissimus dorsi shoulder, you know, kind of shape, and then the thin waist, and then still has more of like a, a curve out, like we were just looking at before. So, makes it slightly different. Again, you can draw these characters however you want, I'm just showing you how, how Yardley does them. Okay, now let's look at these shapes in different poses. So this one here, we got Sally and Bunny. Okay, so let's break down those shapes. Let's see if we got the same shape. So we're kind of predicting here. I'm guessing probably this kind of shape on Sally. Like this kind of shape. Okay, then we have her waist, just like that. And then we have those the hip shape. So, again, those flare outs there. You can kind of, we're kind of guessing here, but you could, you could make a case that that's the shape as well. Okay, and it follows that, follows the same schema. Let's look at Bunny. Okay, Bunny's probably like. A little bit like that, she's turned, and then she has her, and you can kind of tell also how he's drawn the waist or the torso based on how this belt, where this belt is sitting. And we can see that the rest is um, like the lower half, how it how it bends, but it's still got that 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 bend shape. Um, one thing I should also point out is. The character from the front, okay, if I take this shape, just make sure, 
if I take this shape and I then so obviously that's her head facing this way if we did it so that her head is facing this way it would probably look something like you know based on that you'd still use the same kind of shape um, to the one side All right and then if we use this as an example it's probably like you know something like that I don't have a specific example but you can kind of infer just based on the shapes so keep that in mind as well but again it's always these kind of like you know sharp curving um, shapes just to indicate uh, like basic cartoony anatomy. Cool. Okay, let's go to this one of Amy. Here, so again, have that, that boxy shape. So, but the angle where we have it at, okay, it's obviously not going to be straight on like that. It's it's a little different. And then we have the, the waist as well. So you can see that it kind of curves up like that. And then if we were to imagine how Amy looks, we'd probably do something like that. Okay, and you can kind of picture picture the shape. So if we were to show that rule, you know, maybe that's the, the line to indicate the the hips of the character. Okay, so that can um, that kind of deconstructs that. Okay, it's a really this is a really this is a, an advanced pose, and so if if you're confused by this, um, like this is a little trickier. Start off with something straight on, you know, which is what a lot of people do. But then more advanced is obviously posing the character. Okay, and then we'll finish off here with Sally. So Sally has this shape, as usual, okay, the waist is kind of thin like that, and then since she's sitting down, he's got her leg kind of like that, so you can kind of imagine the other leg sort of bending like that, okay, again, a difficult pose. So it kind of changes the whole dynamic. So yeah, from that, that is the basic shape of the female anatomy. And we'll see you in the next one.